to a call to order this meeting for Monday, July 6, 2020. Carl, can I get a roll call, please? Council Member Remley? Aye. Ronane? Present. Munsman? Reif? Present. Johnson? Present. Reinbold? Present. Langer? Present. Rux? Present. Mayor Shoneman? Present. We'll start off this meeting with the administration of the oath of office to our new council members. Welcome to you both, Tiffany Langer and Justin Reinbold. Our city finance officer is authorized by the state of South Dakota to administer oaths. So I'm going to ask him to step forward and then we'll start with you, Tiffany, if you'd find your way to the front so all the people can watch you guys do this on television. Both of them that are watching. I, Tiffany Langer, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of South Dakota, and that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office of the City Council Member Southeast District of the City of Aberdeen, South Dakota, according to the best of my ability, that I am not under direct or indirect obligation to appoint or elect any person to any office, position, or employment under the city, under the government of the city. So close. Thank you so much. All right. I, Justin Randall, am solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of South Dakota, and that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office of City Council Member Southwest District of the City of Aberdeen, South Dakota, according to the best of my ability that I am not under direct or indirect obligation to appoint or elect any person to any office, position, or employment under the government of the city. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations to you both. Welcome to the team. Please stand with me for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ask for a motion to approve last week's minutes for the meeting of June 29th. Moved. Second. Got a motion from Councilman Ronane and a second from Councilman Reif. Carl, give me a roll call vote, please. Councilmember Remley? Aye. Ronane? Aye. Reif? Aye. Johnson? Aye. Reinbold? Aye. Langer? Aye. Rux? Aye. Mayor Shoneman? Aye, motion does carry. We have no speakers for our open forum, so we will move along to our old business. We have the second reading, possible second reading, of Ordinance 20606, supplementing the 2020 budget for various activities and expenses. Carl, since we got a couple new votes here, why don't we start from the top? Uh, this is more of a housekeeping item. Uh, in the past year, we have moved some of the functions of the Parks and Recreation from what they call a gift fund, which are donations and whatnot, um, the activities that they were doing there are really more activity based uh, so we put them into their Parks and Rec fund itself which is 208 is a it's a governmental type fund uh, it's it's really a house cleaning thing we're moving the budget from the 210 over to the 208 funds so sounds good pass without, without going into accounting 101 that's not the best I can <laughs> It, uh, the first reading passed without objection. Uh, move, can I get a move motion? to approve? Uh, a second from someone, please. Second. S got a motion from Ronane and a second from Councilman Rux. Carl, why don't you give me a roll call vote, please? Councilmember Rux. Aye. Langer. Aye. Reinbold. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Reif. Aye. Ronane. Aye. Remley. Aye. Mayor Shoneman. Aye, motion does carry. Next, we've got our consent calendar. We've got six items of routine city business. Can I get a motion to approve those items, please? Move to approve. And second. Second, great. We've got a motion from Councilman Reif and a second from Councilman Rux. Carl, can I get a roll call vote, please? Councilmember Remley? Aye. Ronane? Abstain. Reif? Aye. Johnson? Aye. Reinbold? Aye. 
Langer? Aye. Rooks? Aye. Mayor Shoneman? Aye. Motion does carry. Next, we'll move along to our new business. The first item will be a little bit different from last year. I spoke to the city attorney to get a little bit of a procedural component to this. So we're talking about the election of the deputy mayor for a one-year term from July 6th to the first meeting of July 2021, since this is an item in our, chair, our charter which requires a election. What we'll do first is open up for nominations with a nomination in a second, and if there's any additional nominations, we'll close that, and then we'll move to elect out of that nomination. So first I'll take a motion to open up nomination for the deputy mayor position. So moved. And Thank you. got a motion from Councilman Reif and a second from Councilman Remley. Carl, give me a roll call vote to open nominations, please. Councilmember Rux? Aye. Langer? Aye. Reinbold? Aye. Johnson? Aye. Reif? Aye. Ronane? Aye. Remley? Aye. Mayor Shoneman? All right, motion does carry. We are open for nominations. Can I ask for a uh, possible nomination for the role, please? This is Councilman Remley. I nominate uh, Councilman Ronane as Deputy Mayor. Sounds good. Can I get a second for Councilman Ronane? Second. Got a motion uh, from Mark Remley and a second from Councilman Rux for Councilman. Remley, or excuse me, from Councilman Ronan for the position of Deputy Mayor. Any additional nominations? I would nominate Alan Johnson. And a second, I get a second for Councilman Johnson. I'll second. I've got a motion from Councilman Rux and a second from Councilman Reinbold for Councilman Johnson. Are there any other nominations for Deputy Mayor? While we're here, otherwise I'll take a motion to close nominations. Can I get such a motion? So moved. And a second. I'll second. Sounds good. We've got a motion from Councilman Reif and a second from Councilman Remley to close nominations. Carl, give me a roll call vote there, please. Councilmember Remley? Aye. Ronan? Aye. Reif? Aye. Johnson? Aye. Reinbold? Aye. Langer? Aye. Rux? Aye. Mayor Shoneman? Aye. Motion does carry. Now we've got the possible approval to elect one of these two council members for the term from July 6th to the first meeting of July 2021. So I think the best way to go about this would be to just run through the names and everyone just, uh, num or everyone vote on the individual out of. Councilman Ronane or Councilman Johnson, and the councilman with the most votes will become the deputy mayor. So, Carl, why don't you go ahead and give me that vote? Councilmember Rux. What are we voting on again? For uh, which person? One, uh, I. So I spoke to the city attorney, and he is unfamiliar with this process. We looked into it a little bit in our uh, Robert's Rules, and it seems as though the best way to go about it would be to just announce the name of the person who you're voting for, and the person with the most votes will take the uh, take the position. Uh, Ronan. Councilmember Remley. Ronan. Councilmember Reif. Uh, Johnson. Councilmember Johnson. Johnson. <laughs> Councilmember Reinbold. Johnson. Councilmember Langer. Ronan. And let's see, who am I missing here? Councilmember Ronan, sorry. Ronan. Okay. And Mayor Shawman. Uh, Johnson. So we have a runoff. Um, are we the arm wrestling in the? Uh, <laughs> I, think, I think I think a race, <laughs> <laughs> a foot race. <laughs> All right. So I'm a little bit at a loss at what to do with this sort of a thing. Alan, uh, would you be satisfied with a coin toss? I would be. And here's another option. Can we continue till we have a full council? I would accept that. Uh, may, I, may I interrupt, uh, Mayor? This is Ron. Go ahead. Um, 
the council is required to make this election at its first at its Great. first meeting in July. So I would I would suggest that the council keep at it until it comes up with a with the, an elected deputy mayor. Sounds good. Who's got a coin for us? Make this interesting. A cashless, relatively <laughs> cashless society here. <laughs> we can flip us over. Thank you, Dana. Would you be so kind as to perhaps bring that to our city manager, Joe God? He'll, he'll <laughs> have the honors of making the flip. It is totally normal. All right, I'll just flip it. Oh, okay. Do you want to call? You call. I'll call it. All right. Heads. Hey, you win. There we are. Congratulations, Councilman Roney. You are, Thank you, Mayor. In fact, Deputy Mayor. Moving forward, we have the assignment of the liaisons for the various city boards and designated representatives for other boards and commissions. Possible approval the assignment of those positions. So I printed up a list from last year and um, the ones that are open, I will run through and then we can run through from top to bottom and see if anyone looks is looking to uh, reposition themselves onto a different board. So uh, Councilman um, Ronay, I guess you will find yourself on the Communications Council as that one is dedicated to the Deputy Mayor position. The bid one was a position held by Councilman Bunsness. The CVB was a position held by Councilman Olson, and the parking board is a position held by Councilman Bunsness. So those three are open. I'm going to run from top to the bottom. And then if anyone would like to switch their position that they're currently on, they can make mention of it. Otherwise, we'll just fill those positions with the new council members. We'll start with the airport board. Councilman Johnson, are you uh, satisfied being on the airport board, or would you be interested in changing that position? I'm fine continuing in that role. Sounds good. So we've got... Um, the next one, we've got bid two. Mark Remley, are you interested in uh, in pursuing a different board, or are you satisfied being on bid two? I'm satisfied with that role as, my, as well. Sounds good. We talked a little bit before the meeting about the library board. Councilman Rux, it sounds like you'd be uh, willing to uh, relinquish the library board position to Councilman Ronay. Works for me. Sounds good. We will do that. Thanks, Clint. Um, NECOG is myself. I'm fine staying on the NECOG board. Um, that would have previously been also held by uh, City Manager Lander. It sounds like new City Manager Joe Guy is considering that position as well. Parking board, uh, or excuse me, the Parks Rec. Councilman Wright, are you satisfied being on that board? I am, yes. Sounds good. So we'll move along to the bid one. Um, Justin or Tiffany, which one of you would like to take the bid board? I would like the bid board. That's okay. I'm just Fine. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. And then we'll move along to the CVB. Uh, so we've got three open positions. So if someone else was interested in being on more than one position, they could fill the CVB yeah. position. I'd I've... like to be on CVB, like also if that's. Okay. And the last position that we've got to fill is the parking board. So who wants to volunteer for that? I don't see uh, Councilman uh, Lundsman. Lundsman on any of these board position, so maybe he's going to be the guy that fills that one, considering uh, Clint's guidance on, uh, on people that aren't attending the meeting. <laughs> so I've got uh, Johnson Airport, Reinbold bid one, <coughs> Remley bid two, uh, Langer CVB, Ronane Library Board, uh, myself NECOG, Lundman Parking Board, and Rife Parks and Rec. Oh, uh, where does that put you, Council Councilman Rux? You know, I've served on various boards for 15 years. It'd be nice to have a year off. Is it a requirement that every one of us be on? Okay. Sounds good. So if everyone is good with that, I will take a, uh, a motion to approve those positions. Moved. Move to approve. Got a, I will follow count you as a second, then how about Councilman Bremley? I've got a motion and Councilman Renane as a second. Carl, why don't you give me a roll call vote, please? Councilmember Remley? Aye. Ronane? Aye. Lundsman, excuse me, Rife? Aye. Johnson? Aye. Reinbold? Aye. Langer? Aye. Rux? Aye. Mayor Shoneman? Aye. Motion does carry. Next, we've got the election of the city's alternate representative and commission to the 
Aberdeen Brown County Regional Airport Authority. Possible approval of resolution 20702, nominating and electing the person who we will be naming. So, Ron, what can you tell us about that? Um, Mr. Mayor, thank you. The uh, Aberdeen Brown County Regional Railroad Authority has been in has been in place for several years. Uh, Councilman Bunsness was, I believe, the uh, el the alternate delegate for that. Uh, Councilman Ronain is the primary representative for for the. Uh, uh, City Council. We just need the board to appoint a delegate uh, in lieu of uh, not being able to make it to a meeting. Sounds good. Does anyone have someone to nominate or volunteer for the position of the Aberdeen Brown County Regional Railroad Authority? I'd volunteer for that. There's no objections. Sounds good. We'll take put the name Rafe on that, and then why don't we? Can I get a motion to approve? Move, Josh, and a second. Second. Got a motion from Ronain and a second from Reinbold to approve Josh Rife to the Regional Railroad Authority. Carl, why don't you give me a roll call vote, please? Councilmember Rux. Aye. Langer. Aye. Reinbold. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Rife. Aye. Ronane? Aye. Remley? Aye. Mayor Shoneman? Aye. Motion does carry. Next, we've got hearing on a special one day retail liquor license on July 9th for the Aberdeen Area Chamber of Commerce Business After Hours event on 11th Avenue Southeast between Main Street and Lincoln in request for the community event permit for the same possible approval on a special one day liquor license and community event permit for the Chamber of Commerce's business after hours event. Move to approve. No approval. A motion from Councilman Ronane and a second from Councilman Rux. Carl, why don't you give me a roll call vote, please? Councilmember Remley? Aye. Ronane? Aye. Rife? Aye. Johnson? Aye. Reinbold? Aye. Langer? Aye. Rux? Aye. Mayor Shoneman? Aye. Motion does carry. Next, we've got the hearing on retail on off sale malt beverage and South Dakota wine license for Carlos J. Vasquez doing business as Candela Caribbean Food at 414 South 2nd. Possible approval of this license. Can I get a motion? Move to approve it. Second. Second. Got a motion from Councilman Ronane and a second from Councilman Reif. Uh, Carl, why don't you give me a roll call vote, please? Councilmember Rux? Aye. Langer? Aye. Reinbold? Aye. Johnson? Aye. Reif? Aye. Ronane? Aye. Remley? Aye. Mayor Shoneman? Aye. Motion does carry. Next, we've got the bid recommendation on the 2020 City Hall roof replacement project. Acknowledge that there were no bids received for the project and possible approval to accept the quote received from Groat Roofing in the amount of $57,000 for the City Hall Roofing Replacement. Robin, are you here with us tonight? I am. Uh, kind of an unusual setup for this one, but we did meet the bid requirements by advertising and uh, no bids were received at the time. Subsequently, uh, the two had indicated one had indicated that they would not be able to meet the schedule that we had placed Groat roofing felt they could do it in the timetable we needed so Groat roofing is recommended at the uh, quote bid of 57,000 bottom line is they do plan on completing it as if it were bid so we're recommending approval of that move to approve second and a motion from Remley and a second from Ronane so Robin, can you tell me, is that approximately the amount of money that you would have expected to come in from a bid on such a project? We had an estimated project cost of $60,000 for this project. So it's, it's just slightly under. Anyone else have any questions or comments? Otherwise, Carl, give me a roll call vote, please. Council member Remley. Aye. Ronane. Aye. Rife. Aye. Johnson. Aye. R R excuse me, Reinbold. Aye. Langer. Aye. Rux. Aye. Mayor Shoneman. Aye. Motion does carry. Next, we've got the change order and payment 
for accessible quadrant improvements, possible approval to the change order number three in the amount of $9,374.48. And the payment, which is the final payment in the amount of $60,222.22 to Jensen Rock and, or excuse me, to CWF Masonry. Can I get a motion, or Robin, what can you tell us about those, uh, those quadrants? The uh, project went very well. It is slightly over budget, so we'll have to uh, pare back a little bit of our concrete work on a different project for the uh, remainder of the year to stay within budget. This did complete 26 quadrants. Uh, we did spend quite a bit of money on kind of the road repair. It was in an area where there were an awful lot of uh, streets that had underlying concrete. So some of those repairs did get a little more expensive. This does take us to a point where this project has us under 100 uh, non-compliant quadrants at this point. Um, our goal is to get all of the non-compliant quadrants completed, and then we will start moving into the partially compliant. So this is a very long process, but we're, we're making good headway on it. And uh, we recommend approval of the change order and, and uh, payment request. Move approval. Second. I've got a motion from Councilman Johnson and a second from Councilman Ronane. Carl, give me a roll call vote, please. Councilmember Rux? Aye. Langer? Aye. Reinbold? Aye. Johnson? Aye. Reif? Aye. Ronane? Aye. Remley? Aye. Mayor Shoneman? Aye. Motion does carry. Next, we've got the change order and payment for mill and overlay improvements possible. Approval of change order one in the amount of $90,415.45. And the first payment in the amount of $148,326.11 to Jensen Rock and Sand. Robin, tell us about that project and change order, please. Okay, the change order is sizable. Uh, mm -hmm. Not typical for a first change order, but what we found once we got things uh, removed, um, we did find that the slopes into some of the driveways along part of the mill and overlay were not going to work to to make it uh, look right when it's all completed. So we did have to tear back some additional. Uh, these are roads that have concrete underneath the asphalt. So we had to lower that concrete in order to make the mill portion of it work. Um, we do feel that it's gonna look very good when we get done. And uh, we recommend approval of change order number one and payment number one for Johnson, or Jensen Rock and Sand. Move approval. <laughs> Second. Got a motion from Councilman Rux and a second from Councilman Ronane. Carl, give me a roll call vote, please. Councilmember Remley? Aye. Ronane? Aye. Reif? Aye. Johnson? Aye. Reinbold? Aye. Langer? Aye. Rux? Aye. Mayor Shoneman? Aye. Motion does carry. Next, we've got the approval of the bill list for July 6th. 2020, as seen in your packets. Can I get a motion to pay those bills, please? Moved. Second. Got a motion from Councilman Johnson and a second from Rux. Carl, give me a roll call vote, please. You know, could I ask one question on this, Mayor? Please do. Thank you. Uh, Carl, what is, the, what, what is the billing from Grand Forks Fire Equipment? What is, I don't remember ever seeing them before. Grand Forks Fire Equipment. Or, or you can send me an email. I'm just curious. I'm not. I'm. I'm supportive of paying it if we owe it. <laughs> I've got it right here. Thank you. It's an MSA G1 Premier Cadet Escape Respirator with Kevlar sh shoulder strap, 10-minute carbon escape cylinder, Hanson brass disconnect, hard case, and shipping and handling. Thank you. But shipping and handling will get you every time. <laughs> Without further questions, then, uh, Carl, why don't you give us a roll call vote to pay those bills? Councilmember Rux? Aye. Langer? Aye. Reinbold? Aye. Johnson? Aye. Reif? Aye. Ronane? Aye. Remley? Aye. Mayor Shoneman? Aye, motion does carry. Next, we've got the payroll approval of the pay period from June 21st through July 4th and the city's share of Social Security, old age, survivors insurance, retirement, health, and life insurance. Can I get a motion to make the payroll, please? Moved. Move approval. 
I'll give you the second on that one. And Councilman Rux, we've got a motion from Councilman Renane and a second from Rux. Carl, please roll call. Councilmember Renley? Aye. Ronane? Aye. Reif? Aye. Johnson? Aye. Reinbold? Aye. Langer? Aye. Rux? Aye. Mayor Shoneman? Aye. Motion does carry. Move right along to our city manager's report. Mr. Guy, what have you got for us here? Um, just a couple things from the weekend to touch on. Um, the police department had several complaints on fireworks. They were pretty actively working those. Uh, so if uh, hopefully those are behind us now, but if you do have those in your neighborhood, uh, as a reminder, they're not allowed in the city limits. Uh, so just contact the police department and they send an officer out. Most folks are compliant once they learn. Um, so uh, those were pretty much done uh, with voluntary compliance, and that was good. Also, it's kind of exciting. I'm still new enough. I'm learning process. So this morning we had several questions about tree limbs. What do I do with my tree limbs um, from my my uh, boulevard trees? And what's what's the city doing with those? So uh, what I've learned is early on the uh, public works crew gets out uh, trying to have a truck ahead of the street sweeper. That doesn't always work. Sometimes the street sweeper gets ahead of it trying to get the, the sticks and the, the big limbs out of the, the uh, street. Uh, those go onto the boulevard and then the forestry team comes through with a little more specialized equipment and gets them out of there. Uh, if a homeowner uh, puts the branches from their boulevard trees on that pile uh, before the staff gets there, that's great too. Um, so that's, uh, since we've had high winds for two nights in a row, potentially more on the way, uh, we saw that this morning and likely will again uh, this week. And then uh, I, just on more of an uh, interesting note, this is the fourth community I've served as a manager, and that's the most competitive deputy uh, mayor race I've ever seen. Um, so that was, that was exciting to be part of that. You should see the pay raise associated oh, with it. It's going to be great. <laughs> well, with that, um, once again, I want to thank the, uh, the new council members for being here and wonderful job on on finding your way to this uh, city council chambers, I take a motion to adjourn if no one else has anything to add to this meeting. Move to adjourn. Second. Got a motion from Councilman Ronane and a second from Councilman Wright. Carl, give me a final roll call vote of the night, please. Councilmember Rux? Aye. Langer? Aye. Reinbold? Aye. Johnson? Aye. Reif? Aye. Ronane? Aye. Remley? Aye. Mayor Shoneman. Aye. Motion carries and we are adjourned. Thank you very much. Thank you.